Hello and welcome back to Need to Be Underground 2. We are continuing with the assault on the final few events. I've got a circuit here lined up, so uh, let's just jump straight into that. Doesn't seem too bad, bit of motorway, bit of inner city, so it's not too bad, not too bad. Wow, that focus and I think that was a G35. There's two of them. Two of them. Pretty fast as well. Alrighty. Alright, so if memory serves me correct, uh, we've got two more of these regular events to do, which means this is the second to last. Hell yeah! And then there's one more URL and one more magazine. Uh, after the magazine, I will de-rice the Civic. It's not even ricey as it is. I, mean, I think I've done quite well to make it a 10-star car without making it look hilariously ricey. But uh, I will de-rice to make it look a bit more presentable. A bit more worthy of a BGC car. Because uh, what, what, what have we had? We had the Supra in uh, Import Tune Challenge, which looked fantastic with the uh, TRD wide body. That was pretty awesome. Then in Road Trip, we had well, we had, we had we have jet boosters in road trip. That was uh, yeah. I don't think that counts to be honest. Uh, what else have I done? What else have I done? Um, not much actually. I can't remember what else I've done. Things only those. Hmm. Well, anyway, in uh, in Kyler Racer, I've got that Starlet Turbo with the uh, Tom's kit. So I've stayed very kind of OEM plus with my. Uh, let's, let's call them hero cars, using the film term, the hero cars. I don't know if that's the actual term for the car used at the end, but yeah, I'll, 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 I'll roll with it. But yeah, I don't think, I don't really want to finish this series with this spoiler, this bonnet, these wheels. I don't think it helps the car any. And I probably will ditch the neons, just, you know, just out of um, principle. So yeah, got that to look forward to. Oh, that knife I'm not using. Let's use it now. 220 in a Civic. Then bash into wall. I'm still alive. Because that's physics. Look at this focus. It cuts me up like every other focus driver on the road. If you drive focus and you do not cut people up, then maybe you shouldn't be driving the focus. Why am I last? What's happened in the last 10 seconds that's called me to become last so quickly? I suppose rubber banding is quite bad in this game. I'll actually be playing some more of Underground 1. And I noticed the rubber banding is actually not as bad as this. To the point where you can fuck up so badly that you there's no chance of winning. Whereas in this, you can fuck up quite bad. As long as there's enough road between you and the finish line, you can uh, recover it. But Underground 1 is very unforgiving. It's, uh, that'll just make the Let's Play of that much more interesting, which I will I will probably do after Kyler Racer. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I've you know I've kind of lost a lot of time to record lately. So I'm just going to concentrate on, like one series at a time with a few sort of like side things. Even GTA, I'm sort of not even playing GTA. You know, for myself, so recording is just kind of out the window for that moment. Not that it matters too much because it's just a, it's a, it's a side series really. It's something I do my boredom time. Plus, the easiest fuck to record. Just literally put the capture card on, press record, talk, play, stop recording, edit, render, upload. That's it. It really is a lazy series. Whereas this is more kind of, yeah, sort. Of and make sure that the game's going to run properly. Because, uh, I don't know if it's me, but when I play Underground 2, it will sometimes start just crashing for no reason. And to fix that, you have to go into process, task manager rather, uh, find the process of Underground 2, and change it so it only uses one core on the processor. 
apparently multi-threaded processors kill the game or some crap like that. Oh, it matter, because even on one CPU I've still got like a lot of horsepower, so you know I can run this game ridiculously smoothly. I am I'm very often just at the FPS cap for the game, which is around 120. Just goes to show that, you know, all you need is a really beefy fucking PC and you can play a game from 2002-2003 in complete and utter PC Master Race glory. Does it make sense? Basically just it looks good and it runs well. Oh, here we go. Got that fucking magazine. It's only over here. This is so convenient. I can just fucking de-rice the car. No more weird spoiler. No more weird bonnet. Just I'll make, I'll make it look swish. Very swish. I'll keep the kit though because the wide body kit actually looks decent. I actually like the Buddy Club bumpers for the Civic. Or well, this one anyway. I'm not really too fond of it for the... Uh, other generations, but this one pulls it off well, I think, anyway. Where's this guy? Oh, he is Thar. <coughs> I'm in third, get out of third. And it's not really a hard time trial, just go around the corner, up the motorway, turn right. <laughs> oh, that was a bit wide. I'm a shitty driver right now. Got the right side of the road. As in right for Americans, it's not the actual right side of the road. Well, it is actually right side of the road, but it's not right for me. Because I drive on the left in real life. Where's the star? She's over here. Wow, I've got a, over a minute to go still, and here. They must have really underestimated what cars can do at this stage of the game. Well, that's lovely. And, uh... The title isn't bad, too. Even though it's all in German. Yep. Very nice, very nice. I see all the magazines done. And now... It's time to de-rice this thing. Because I am so tired of having that stupid hood since the beginning of the game. It's going to be better. A bit of style to it, a bit of class. Ooh. The colours are. Oh, I'll keep the colours as they are, because obviously it's fancy gaming colours. Using our now old logo, but we still keep it as a. Uh, like a, I don't know, Mento. For the old times. Which aren't even that old. Alright. I need a good spoiler. Let's uh see the spoiler it's too far sort of in. Whereas this has a lot more well that's this is it's a shit spoiler, but you can see what I mean while it comes out a bit more. Um <clears throat> that's not bad, even though it's a bit too fast and the furious. Oh, it's giving a few. That's weird, that's weird, that's weird. That suits some cars, but not this one. Uh, that's not too bad. Well, it's, it's uh, I don't know. It's a bit too far forward for my tastes. No, let's not put the Evo wing on it, or that, or that, or that, or that. Mm, wow, not even trying. That's weird. That's pretty cool, but it's too far forward. That's not bad, but it looks like a massive slab. Uh, that's not too bad. This is actually alright. Uh, ah, not that bit wacky. That's one of the unique spoilers from Underground 1. Uh, what else we got? Uh, uh, even this is a bit too far forward. That's not too bad. Oh, this one looks pretty cool. It is very fast and furious though. Wow, they... What's with the spoiler placement? Jesus. The stock spoiler looks actually the best. That's... That's sad. 
Right, I think what I'll do, I'll go for the really horrible looking Fast and the Furious spoiler. So it's not really horrible, it's just, I don't know. It just reinforces a negative stereotype, I think. Or, or should I just restore it to, like, complete OEM? Just. You know what? Let's just turn into, like, a really stock looking Civic. Let's, let's forget the. the tat. Kind of a waste of a wide body kit, but. What the fuck? Is this what it looked like before? I am so sorry. Right, let's just completely overhaul the car then. Right. Here's a. Um, here's a fun fact. My Civic in real life has the equivalent of this. It's not so thick here, but uh, it looks really good on the car. It's kind of weird here, but I'm, I'm going to do it anyway just because. You know, just because. Let's have a full sniper kit. Which, amazingly, is what my car has in real life. Um. Looking for a better side, but. Nah, let's do full sniper, like my car. Hood, let's go for a stop. Actually, let's put like a little vent in the hood or something. Just a little, little vent. Like a really little vent, maybe. Oh, that's perfect. That's like. Because the air filter will be here in the Civic, so that's, that's actually quite perfect. I have that. Headlights. Um. Yeah, they're all pretty shit, aren't they? I'll put the rear on, we're on back to stock though. There we go. Side mirrors, stock. Yeah, much better. Exhaust tips, let's downsize that. At this point I'm just making my own car, but it's like as a coupe and Banter Gaming, whatever it. No, I'll, I'll totally rock a Banter Gaming stick on my own car though. I'll totally would, but it's just uh finding a place who would do that for me. For a reasonable price. Let's find some decent wheels. Um can't go wrong with Volks. And I quite like these. That's very um things my camera life has like hon hon the wheels on them, like try to find something that resembles them. Uh kinda like this, but but the spokes are filled in. Cause they're just standard Honda wheels, but from a different Honda, so. But I don't really like these ones. The ones I have are much better. Um, oh, let's not get those. Um, oh, these wheels actually, I love in ITC actually. These wheels look awesome in ITC, but they don't have the same flair in this for some reason. Um, I love these in Underground 1. These wheels look awesome or anything, but. Let's see what else there is first. These are cool. What else we got here? Just flipping through. Oh, these actually. Connie Curries. These are very nice wheels. Um, might get some hurries actually. Yeah, let's get those hurries. Lexania wheels. Why haven't even looking? Get already looked at those. OZ. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um. Rotors, because why not? Let's put some wheels that break on our car. Um, oh, I've got rotor slips. Pretty typical Civic wheels. See, I love these. They're like a core type R wheels, but I don't know what they're actually based on. Circuit 10, like Mugen wheels. Let's put the um, Kuni Curries on. The six spokes are. Uh, plus, they have a very nice two tone when you paint them, which I will show in a minute. Uh, so, that's cool. Let's go to the paint shop. See, the car looks much better now, much better. It's like just a standard OEM Plus Civic SI, much, much better. Let's go to the specialty shop first, actually. I want to the neons. I've actually lost four stars of visual rating, and I'm gonna lose even more when I take off like the hydraulics. And I might tone down the boot speaker install and 
take out the bonnet, the uh, engine neons, because why would you put neons in the bonnet? Wouldn't they melt? Especially with a car like this where you just race everywhere, so like, the engine's constantly hot. It looks so, so cool, so much cooler. Yeah, I prefer it like this. Um, neon. Take neon off. Star points going through the floor now. See, why would you do that? Let's take that off. Let's take that off. Trunk neon. Yeah, I'm, I'm redoing the neon. Let's just do black. Dark black. Uh, neons, that's fine. Let's get white back on here. Enjoy the rainbow show. Let's get the wheel ones. Get off my car. Uh, trunk layout. Let's do standard because it still makes it look stock somewhat. Trunk slot one. Let's put, let's put a bit of nitrous in here. And slot two can just be a subwoofer. JL because that's pretty good. Uh, what else do we have? Spinners. No spinners. Split hood. We've got rid of that. So that's alright. Scissor doors. No thank you. And now our car is 3.13 stars because that's how much tat you have to put on the car to make it a 10 star car. I mean, it looked good before, but now it looks even better. I'm going to take it to the paint shop and paint some things. Got a third brake light. Got that? I didn't know I had that. Ah. All right. Yeah, the car looks a lot more respectable now. Plus, it shows off the band's gaming live a bit better. Less things poking out of it. Although I would have liked to keep the spoiler black, but you can't paint the stock spoiler, so it's a shame. Anyway. Let's paint and then we'll go back to racing. Hey, right. Rims. See, you paint them black and then what happens is you get. Hold on, where's an actual black? It's actual black. You get the black spokes and the silver rim. Look at that. We get blue. Every, it does it with every colour apart from chrome. So let's do black. Uh, brakes. I want to do brakes black because it just looks a bit better behind the wheels, I think. Engine accents, red, because Honda. And, um, I know I haven't got Rojar wheels on it, but it says my name, so, there you go, it says my name, so, you know, that's why I'm keeping that. And, yeah, I think that's it. Perfect.